Okay, so I'm going to show you how to change the MMSI or the Maritime Mobile Service Identity Number on this Simrad RD68. Usually the MMSI number is entered when the radio is first new and then can't be changed unless it's sent off to a, a, a Simrad dealer. However, it can be done without the programming software and I'm going to show you how. So first of all, I'm going to press DSC and we're going to press Menu and then we're going to press more and then we're going to select MMSI okay and we can see the current MMSI number displayed here and below that is the group MMSI number which has also been entered We've, we have the ability to change the group MMSI by pressing the, um, the, the lower button here so we can change the group MMSI if we want to but what it, what it doesn't allow us to do is to change the actual MMSI number itself. There's no option to. So what we need to do is take the radio apart and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we've disconnected the radio's power supply and we're going to remove just the front face of the radio. We don't need to undo the screws underneath. We just need to undo the four screws that hold the face plate on. Okay, and we're going to very carefully remove the front face plate away from the radio itself. Just like that. And what we need to do is we need to create a wire link just between these two points here and here. If you can just see them, just between those two little points there allows us to reset the radio. So to make the connection and I'm going to simply short these two pads out with a, a tiny solder joint. Okay so you can see that I've just uh, made these the little connection there between the two pads so we can now very carefully reassemble the radio and I'll show you how to change the MMSI number. So as we place the face plate back onto the radio, we have to be very careful that the pins are lined up perfectly into the socket behind. Okay, so we can now reconnect the radio's power supply, switch on the unit. Okay, well again we're going to press DSC, we're going to select the menu, and we're going to press more as we did before, and this time when we select MMSI, we now have the ability to change the MMSI of the radio itself. So we're going to press this button here. And we can now enter the new MMSI number. Okay, it's going to ask us to confirm the new MMSI number, so we have to enter it again. And press enter. And there you go, all in. All we have to do now is disassemble the unit again and take the solder joint out using perhaps a, a solder sucking tool such as this one. Alternatively we could leave it in place and the radio will still function exactly the same. The only difference is now in the menu every time we go into the MMSI number it gives us the option to change the MS, MMSI number should we need to. If you found this video useful please comment down below. Thanks for watching.